That looks like my great grandmother's under the couch rug with the candy dish on the coffee table, sewn into britches. What would their mothers think of them? What's up YouTube, we're Aaron and Todd. In this series, we flew to Arizona to celebrate Aaron's 31st birthday. On the way there, the Atlanta Delta Sky Club threw Aaron a surprise birthday party. It's my birthday. Once in Arizona, we saw the Grand Canyon and were shocked at how big it really is. Whoa. We drove north to Page, Arizona for the incredible views at Horseshoe Bend. And now we're in the rental car headed to Las Vegas for 24 hours. Aaron has an appointment to get a beard trim, haircut, and facial at the barbershop inside the Cosmopolitan. As we explore the sights and sounds of Sin City, we finally understand why everybody says what they do about Las Vegas. Stick around to see. Links are in the description for the other vlogs in this series. And a big shout out to Aaron's best friend, Michaela, for joining us for his birthday weekend celebration. Thanks, Michaela. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it, y'all? We are so late. Aaron has to get his hair cut at seven o'clock at the Cosmo. It's at the barbershop in Las Vegas, in the Cosmopolitan. We were supposed to have this rental car back an hour ago. We're just coming off of Route 66, getting ready to get on I-93. We've got about an hour and a half left. One hour later. Arizona, 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 Nevada! At the light, turn left onto Paradise Road. So we made it to Vegas, but in the GPS, in the Apple Maps, we put in there to go to the airport. We didn't put in rental car return lot. Two different places. Palm trees, palm and... We are back in the same car we were in. We are headed to the hotel to check in. Oh, look, Spirit coming in hot. That's the private stuff right there. That's the big baller. Oh, okay. Huh? Oh, there's the sign. There's the sign right by our hotel. Yes. Oh, Pinball Hall of Fame. In one mile, oh, make a U-turn at East Reno Avenue. Uh, so look at how green that grass is. That's either fake or it's very well watered. It's turf. Oh, it's turf? Yeah, it's turf. There it is. That looks hard. Oh, they're doing America's Got Talent. At the light, mm -hmm. use the left lane to make a U-turn at East They Kino knew Avenue. I was going to be here. They heard about my legendary skills. That's what we're saying. Well, we are parked. We are... All of our luggage in tow. We are headed into the building. Probably we'll do a tour later tonight once the, uh, the lights are out. But look at that. There it is. Hotel restriction. So I think that's the free shuttle that you can ride. It goes the whole length. Sorry, we are hoofing it to this place. What is this castle? Oh, I think this is Excalibur. Dick's last resort. What in the hell is the... This is overwhelming. Oh, there is too much going on here for me. bar here in the, in the uh, Cosmopolitan, we're in the barber shop, but through that door is a secret bar, it's a speakeasy bar. Usually we go through this door, but no one would be able to open it. 
they graciously allowed us to get a quick tour of the bar since we're in shorts and we can't go in. The barbershop is a speakeasy hidden behind the janitor's closet door of a barbershop on the casino floor of the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. Once past the janitor door, you enter the Prohibition era inspired parlor. Furnished with swanky leather sofas and chairs, the space is a modern nod to some of the greatest whiskey bars in the world. The barbershop is a throwback to a simpler time when whiskey and liquor were king and word of mouth was gold. Number five, the Las Vegas Strip. It's hot as hell, y'all. I just got fresh cut. Got the beard trimmed up. We are out. On the other side of the MGM sign now, we're gonna take the train, the Excalibur train, from here back to the Luxor, find some food, and honestly, go to bed. Go to bed. We're gonna go to the room and get in the hot tub. Jacuzzi bed. Whatever. to have a discussion about the check-in process because it was a bloody train wreck. La Marita, not bad. But yeah, check-in process, oh my god. I mean, words cannot put this paint the appropriate picture. So look at that. Look at some puppy dog. Going to get some food at the, uh, we don't know where we're going. But how about this room? How about this hotel? It's a very nice hotel, very nice facilities here. We hungry. There's a difference between hungry and hungry, and we hungry. And we've been drinking, so. Oh, look at that. 